Hey, what's up? This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in North Node. How you guys doing, Leo? What's up? Are y'all ready for the holidays, baby? Thanksgiving and Christmas is around the corner. You know what I'm saying? You got Black Friday coming up. What y'all finna get? What's up? <laughs> you guys traveling for the holidays? How y'all guys doing today, Leo? How y'all guys doing? This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in North Node here. So we got the page of swords. So you do have a, a group of people that's watching you. This could be a, a group of people that was in collaboration that was working against you. If you had like a group of people that was working against you, like a little friend group or a clique at work, I'm getting all these people have fell out. Um, if if you if you was dealing with um, harassment at work, like work harassment or a group of people gang stalking you and harassing you, I'm getting there's somebody in a group that's getting ready to fold. There's some type of information. Somebody's getting ready to snitch. There is some information that you're going to receive that's coming towards you. I feel like one of these people in the group finger is getting ready to tell them everybody else and tell what's up. You know what I'm saying? Because these people have fell out. Yeah, somebody has walked away from a group of people. Like I said, all the, like I said, the in, I'm saying God will bring the enemies to your knees. Period. Plum blank. He will bring them down, baby. <laughs> the same people that was collaborating against you, trying to fuck with you, gang stalking you, they all gonna fall out. They all gonna fall out. Cause see. A lot of them didn't like they didn't like each other. See, that's how people do. A lot of times, people who don't even like each other, they'll come together and team up like they fuck with one another just to take you down. They don't really fuck with each other. They being fake and phony with one another. With one another, they talking about each other behind each other back. But they got one thing in common, and that's they don't like you. So they oh let's let's come together and bring Leo down. Let's fuck Leo up. Because, you know, they jealous as fuck. Unfortunately, you have people like that in the world. Unfortunately, you know, you have people that want to see other people hurt. You know, the life is hard as it is. Life is already hard. You never know a person's situation. That's why you don't fuck with people. And that's why when people have massacres at work and they be like, oh, they try to blame on their mental health and shit. Nah, it wasn't, it wasn't a shit wrong with that motherfucker but life. It ain't nothing wrong with their mental health. None of that. Now, what happened was that person was on the verge of being homeless. That person was on the verge of losing it all. That person was that person could have been a month away from being kicked out of their of they, of they house or their or they apartment. That person could have been, you know, getting ready to lose their car. That person could have been ready to lose their kids because they can't because of life. You just never know a situation that a person is going through. And then. They coming to work and they barely holding on. They barely holding on. They barely, they barely clinging on to life. They literally on edge. And all it take is one little thing to throw their ass off. Then they come. They already don't know. You don't know. You don't know people dealing with. Some people leaving work every day ain't got nowhere to go. They taking showers at the gym. Taking showers at the gym because they ain't got nowhere to bathe. They getting up in the morning to come to work. Going to 7-Eleven. Going to places like Wawa just to brush their teeth. Just to, just to get ready and prepared in the morning. They sleeping and living out of their car. You know what I'm saying? They sleeping on a friend's couch. They don't know how they going to eat where their next meal going to come at. They living in a shelter. They sleeping behind a building on concrete. You don't know what the fuck somebody going through. But they coming to work. They may even be smiling or coming to work simply being quiet, minding their business. And because a person quiet and they not in a social gathering, oh, you take it as, oh, they think they better than us. Oh, they acting stuck up. They don't want to be a part of the group, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just because, let me say something, because people quiet, stop getting people quiet and it's confused with being stuck up and thinking they better than. There's just some people's personality. Everybody don't talk to everybody. There's some people just real kept to themselves. They don't mean they don't like you. They don't mean they stuck up. They don't mean none of that shit. Stop getting that shit confused. Then you people come to work and what you do, you keep harassing their ass. You keep fucking with them, telling every telling telling everything you can on the person, and then you end up making the person lose their job. And then now a motherfucker come to work. Now a motherfucker come. Now a motherfucker come back to that bitch and they lay everybody down. Now it's a massacre in that bitch. Now it's a standoff in that bitch. And now it's oh we don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. They just lost it. They just came to work and they just laid everybody. Nah, bitch, y'all tell the fucking truth. You was fucking with that motherfucker. Tell the truth. Y'all was harassing that motherfucker. Y'all kept poking and picking at, picking at that person. And you don't know what the fuck they ass was going through outside of this motherfucking job. 
And now you don't made a fucking lose. You, you gon' you, you now you don't made a person lose the last thing they had that kept them clinging on to life. They kept them holding on. And now they don't lost it on everybody else. And now they just don't give a fuck. Now it's a manhunt. Now they trying to look for this motherfucker. See, that's how it is. People are poke. People are poke. And see, people do that a lot. With, and people do that a lot with Leos too. They like to poke. They like to pick at you. They like to fuck with you. And then they take your quietness. Or they take your, they take your ignoring them. They get that shit confused with scariness. And thinking your ass a punk ass bitch. And they think your ass scary as fuck. Because you trying to avoid trouble. Because you trying to avoid having to get into it. And then the minute you, the minute you snap. The minute you go off. Oh, because you know what I'm saying? Because a Leo going to always do it 10 times worse than you. Oh, bitch, you went 10. I'm going to go 20, bitch. I'm going to go to, oh, oh, you think you harassing? Let me show you what harassing is, bitch. Oh, you think you, oh, you think you bullying? Let me show you what bullying, bullying is, bitch. Oh, you going to show a motherfucker. And then when that, when that lion come out, now a motherfucker going to flip it. Now they going to go make police reports on you and say, oh, you harassing, you, har you harassing them. You stalking them. And I'm going to tell you something. I can testify to that. You know what I'm saying? I be real, I be real quiet. I don't fuck with nobody. I keep to myself. I don't even like to have people around me like that. Cause let me tell you something. People that's real, they don't fuck with a lot of people. They don't have a lot of friends. See, I don't, I don't fuck with a lot of people. You know why? Because I'm too, I'm a real bitch. So I don't fuck with a lot of people and I don't do that fake shit. And then when I cut a motherfucker off, oh, she thinks she better. Oh, she thinks she, oh, nah. Oh, then they try to flip it. Oh, they, they, oh, they, they, they just don't want nothing to do. Nah, bitch, tell the truth. You know what the fuck you did Why I cut your bitch ass off. You know what you did. You a fake bitch. I peep that shit. I peep shit. Just because, just because I ain't saying nothing don't mean no peep. But I just cut your ass off. Don't even say shit. Yeah, I peep that shit. Straight like that. I peep that shit. Yeah, you, yeah I see it. You, you thought I ain't see it, but I see it. People come around with negative intentions from the get-go. They come around trying to play with me. Come around with negative intentions from the jump. From the jump. Trying to provoke me, trying to get me to react, and then when I react, guess what? That's when they want to go making them false reports and shit. That's when they want to say, "Oh, she harassing me. Oh, she 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 stalking me." No, bitch, tell the truth, cause I was real cool. I was real cool and really no. You thought you could play with me. That's what happened, bitch. You thought you could play with me, and you kept poking and shit. And what happened was now I'm on your ass. Now I'm on your ass, cause now you don't got me though. After me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't don't even don't even, don't don't play with me. Cause I treat people how I want to be treated. Don't disrespect a motherfucker that ain't disrespecting you. Don't come around somebody with negative intentions. If a person has if, if a person has made it clear who they are and what they stand for, don't come around them trying to fuck over them and use them and take from them and do all type of shit. Don't do that. And then when somebody reacts to the shit that you don't did, don't try to flip that shit and make it seem like they this and that. Nah. That's why I just simply don't fuck with people because I ain't got time for the bullshit. Period. So somebody stalking you, somebody watching you. Yeah, a group of people don't. A group of people don't feel like who was trying to fuck with you, who was against you. This could be a Gemini. Yeah, somebody like I said, somebody walking away. Like I said, God gonna bring your enemies to their knees. Yeah, somebody really. Yeah, it's somebody watching you in secret. Somebody's definitely spying on you in secret here. This could be a Pisces that's spying on you with the with the moon card. That's a major arcana. Talking you and watching you in secret and shit, spying on you. This could be a Gemini that's spying on you. Heavy Gemini energy here. It could, that's the lovers. That's Gemini energy. So there is a there could be a a, a a lover that's spying on you, an ex of yours, somebody that has a, a secret on um, romantic feelings for you, or somebody that's hiding their feelings for you that's watching you. This could also be somebody that's in a relationship. They're in a whole commitment, or because I saw the higher font. They're in a whole commitment relationship. They spying and watching you. Yeah. Okay. So something is in, something is being balanced out here. Something is being balanced out. Something is happening in divine timing here. It's a lot of major arcanas here. It's like three major arcanas. You could deal with the Sagittarius, Sagittarius as well here. Yeah. So I told you, this is an X. What I told you, there is an X. There is an ex of some somebody that you're no longer with, somebody you're in separation from. This person is watching you. This could be somebody that's very childish too. Because they coming up as a page. There's somebody that lied to you, broke your heart, put you in a third party situation. This person is spying and watching you here. Yeah, the Empress. This person is hurt. And they hurt like a motherfucker. They hurt, bitch. When I say they hurt, they hurt. They hurt. 
somebody that hurt you, somebody that could have, you know, um, put you in a third party situation, somebody that could have broke it off with you, whatever the case may be. Um, this is somebody, this is an ex bottom line, somebody that you're no longer with here. This person is hurt because they're seeing that you are empress. Somebody probably didn't know your, they didn't see your worth. They didn't value you when they had you. See, sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. That's how it is sometimes. And it's unfortunate. But sometimes people, you got to separate yourself from them, from them to realize what the fuck they really had. And for them to realize who the fuck you really are. Yeah, you that, you, you that, you that dude or you that girl for real. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like whether male or female, this could be the emperor, it could be the empress. Gender does not matter when it comes to um, tarot. So this could be an emperor, this could be an empress. But either way you see it, you have an ex that's watching you and spying on you. And they hurt, they butt hurt. They hurt like a motherfucker because they watching. You don't have some type of glow up. You looking real good. You on your shit. You on your boss shit. Straight up. And you very loving. You, you're very beautiful. You have a nice home. Beautiful things around you. You're very enlightened. You're very in intelligent. Your intellect is out of this world here. Everything you touch turns to gold. I feel like whatever you want, you're able to, um, you're, you're a powerful manifester. Whatever you want, it materializes. You got a lot of green in the background. That's like represents fertility. That represents growth. You know what I'm saying? This is your harvest. Everything that you put hard work into, everything you put your hands on, it has now harvest here. That's represents abundance. And you and you somebody who's you're you're a star. You're meant to be a star with all the stars on her head. And with the crown, you're somebody who's very enlightened here. Like I said, you're beautiful here. You're very, you keep your you know what I'm saying you keep yourself healthy. You have your routine checkups. Yeah, what I told you. You have communication. I told you you're you're growing in life. You're growing, you're expanding here. Like I said, this is like I told you, you got a lot of people supporting you with the six of pentacles here. You got a lot of support coming in. So you got a lot of support. A lot of people, like I said, if this is like you could be in the beauty industry. Um, because uh, that could represent because the um empress could represent beauty, a hairstylist, a nail tech, you know, um things like that. Um, your your own skincare line, whatever. Something is taking off for you. You this is growth and expansion here. This is a lot of support coming in. You could do something online with the eight of wands here, but this could be travel. You could be traveling here, but something is taking off for you. This is support. You got a lot of support. This could be donations. Um. Um, some type of um, gift or charity. Somebody want to give something to you. A lot of people supporting you here. So I'm getting a lot of growth and support. Yeah, somebody heard this for somebody is watching you. Somebody's watching you. People fucking with you. People supporting you. I'm talking about you lit. You you lit. Period. Hit it if you know you lit. <laughs> you lit. There's a lot of major arcanas already out here. So there's your major arcana. There's ma major change in your life. Major, major change. Major change. Yep. I'm getting somebody's in their emotions. This is somebody watching you in their feelings. They in their feelings and they hurt. You, you, this could be a Taurus. But somebody sits, they spend a lot of time thinking about you. Somebody spent a lot of time um, wishing they would have invested in you, wishing they would have married you. This is somebody that did not marry you or commit to you. They wish they would have married you. They wish they would have invested into you here with the, with the seven of pentacles. Somebody's really in their emotions. Somebody's intuition is, is telling them that you're the one. You know what I told you, but this is somebody that was back and forth in the past. This person juggled you. They was back and forth. They was on and off with you. This is somebody who thought they could play with you. You tried somebody tried to play with it with a fucking empress. You're a divine, divine masculine or divine feminine. You're a divine here. You ain't want to be played with and you're not somebody who's going to be juggled. You're not you're not going to allow somebody to play with you. You're not going to allow some, you know, you can't have me and have other people. No, you that, that's not how it's going to work. But somebody wanted their cake and ice cream, yeah. And now somebody is disappointed. 
Now they're disappointed. Now they're missing you. Somebody decided to um, reject you or when you tried to love them, they didn't want your love or you wasn't good enough for them or some shit like that. Now somebody, all somebody can do is sit back, reflect on the past, be in their feelings, wish woulda, shoulda, coulda, wish they woulda, shoulda, coulda, married you, shoulda invested in you. They shoulda been with you because now motherfuckers fucking with you or you getting support. Now you growing, you expanding in life. Things are happening for you. Your dreams are coming true. All type of shit. But somebody in the past, somebody wanted to juggle you, be on and off with you, be indecisive about be indecisive about you, wasn't sure if they wanted to invest in you, like they wasn't sure of you. Now they realizing they missed an opportunity. Now they sad, still around here moping, depressed. I feel like they got other people around them, other hoes or other bitches or other motherfuckers or whatever around them, and they don't want none of these people. They don't want none of these people, they don't want none of these cups. They're not really interested. If they do got people around them, they just they just dealing with these people for fun. It's just these people just something to do. That's it. They just these they deal with these people to keep they deal with these other people to keep their mind off of you. They don't really want none of these people. They want you. They want your love. But when you try to get them your love in your cup, they was just interested in your love. They was too busy entertaining other motherfuckers, entertaining other people. Now they stressed out because they realize they don't fucked ass up. Yeah, what I told you. Now, this is a tower moment for they ass. You could be in with a Scorpio here. Somebody has had a major epiphany, a major epiphany, a major realization moment for they ass. Because they realize it here. And yeah, now somebody want to speak some type of truth to you. Yep, I told you somebody's having repetitive thoughts. I feel like you're in somebody's head constantly. All somebody do is think about you. They can't get you off of their mind. They can't get you out of their head with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight, eight of Swords. They're stuck on you. Repetitive thoughts in their head. You can be with a Gemini too. Yup. Yup. Somebody is surprised. Yup. I also feel like this is somebody, like I said, I also feel like this is somebody that really hurt you, somebody that you had love for, somebody that you really cared about, and you could have been, you know, at one point chasing this person and, you know, um, oh, you know, trying to make something work with this person or really show your love and I love you, you know what I'm saying, you know, because you know how Leo's is, when a Leo love you, we love you, but when it's fuck you, bitches fuck you, when it's up and it's stuck, bitches up and it's stuck. And that's what it is. Once I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. But when you got my heart, bitch, you got my heart. But once it, once I say it's a wrap, it's a wrap around this bitch. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? See, when you was stuck on somebody or when you was wanting somebody or whatever, they didn't want to open up to you. They was too busy entertaining other motherfuckers. Now you don't, you don't, I feel like you don't, um, it's like you don't put your, it's like you don't, um, put your, 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 your energy back from somebody. It's like you don't take your power back from somebody. Now somebody is shook. They're shook and they're surpri surprised at your bounce back. Like, damn, Leo, damn, Leo ain't stuck on me. Damn, Leo ain't fucking with me. Damn, Leo don't pull their power back from me. Damn, Leo, damn. I feel like you got somebody stuck in the head. You got somebody fucked up in the head. Because the way you don't take your power back from somebody, the way you don't pull back your energy from somebody, you ain't paying this motherfucker no mind. You too busy getting money around this bitch. You too busy getting money. You too busy looking good, smelling good, all of that. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, shout out to my girl. Shout out to my girl. Um, Shout out to my girl here. She be having the oils and shit. I be loving it. It smells so good. It smells so good. KYMZ oils. I love, I, I love her oils. I mean, that shit be smelling good all fucking day long. It be smelling good all day. I still got my bottle. I gotta get some more from her. I still got my bottle, bitch. It's smelling so good, bitch. Oh, all day long. You hear me? I'm telling you, you don't put your energy back from somebody. Period. Now they looking stupid as fuck. Stuck on Chuck. What I what I what I told you. <laughs> you got your guard up. What I told you, you got your guard up. It's like you don't put your energy back from somebody. Somebody know that you're guarded. Yeah. Now somebody want to reach out to you and and tell you something. I feel like you're getting good news too as well. I feel like some of you guys could work out too as well here. What I told you. 
I feel like you bounce back. And also, I feel like, yeah, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody just shook. They're surprised. They can't believe it. They can't believe that you was the one all along or you, you was the empress. They can't believe that you're an empress or you were the, you the one, you were the one all along that you was the prize, that it was you. It's something like that. And I feel like you, you've, um, had some type of, um, financial upgrade or level up in your life. I feel like you're financially stable. You're very grounded here. That's what I'm getting. You're very grounded. You could love animals as well. You could be in, like you could be a veterinarian or you could love animals. I told you somebody look, I told you somebody looking at you like bitch. <laughs> they looking at you like bitch. Somebody is irritated. They mad as fuck. They is irritated. They can't believe it. They irritated and mad as fuck. Do you understand me? They mad. They sick, bitch. They mad and they wherever they at, they going through whatever they at. They going through some type of karma or they going through some, some type of hardship, wherever the fuck they at. Yep, they going through and they watching you flourish. Watching you flourish. Yup. You're being called to, to say no. You're being called to stand in your power. You're being called to cut this person off. Period. Because they don't deserve you. Never be second best for nobody. Don't let nobody go. Don't let nobody go elsewhere and, and, and entertain other people and fuck with other people and feel like you wasn't good enough and think they can come back to you like you second best or you second choice. No, the Empress don't play second to no fucking body. It's all or nothing. Like love and basketball, bitch, all or nothing. It's me or nobody. Period. That's just what it is. It don't get no better than me. Period. It don't get no better, bitch. And now you see that? Yeah. Your love, your your love, your, your 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 nurture, your kindness, everything that you gave is nothing like you. Nothing like you, period. Somebody didn't know what the fuck they had. Now they sitting, now they just sitting in their fucking head. They can't get out of their fucking, you live in somebody's head, rent fucking free. All they do is think about you constantly, all day fucking long, and they in their feelings, and now they hurt. The tables have truly turned. If you was hurt, bitch, you over that shit. And now it's they ass. Now they gotta feel what the fuck you was feeling, period. Now it's kiss your ass. Yeah. What I told you, somebody feels a connection to you. Somebody feels like you're independent, you're self-sufficient, you're um you can hold your own here. Also, somebody feels like you have many people that want you, you have many lovers or people many people want you here. I feel like you a force all by yourself. Yeah, what I told you, what I told you, you're very solid. You're very stable. You're very solid. You're very stable. I feel like some of you guys could be entrepreneurs. You have your own business here with the nine of pentacles in that um, emperor here. I also feel like you're making, I, I also feel like you're choosing different. I feel like, you know, also, I feel like I, I'm also talking to a Leo who you've been through so many shitty ass people. And I feel like based on your life experience and based on what you went through in life, you making different decisions in love. I feel like you're really choosing people that's really on your level. People that meet you um, where you at. People that's really on your level. People that's um like you like your standards. You're realizing your worth. You know your worth. And you know what you deserve. And you're not fucking with a motherfucker who ain't on that level like it was. I do feel like you're making the decision to be with an emperor, somebody who's single, somebody who's um in, um financially stable, somebody who um can hold their own weight, somebody who can provide for you, protect you, love you, somebody who's very logical and disciplined here, somebody who's dependable and they're a good father. I told you, I told you, I feel like this is you. I feel like you, I feel like you're single. You're not with anybody. You're single here. And I feel like now somebody is choosing you, but I feel like somebody's trying to sneak their way back towards you because somebody see that you don't boss the fuck up. I feel like you have balanced your, your masculine and feminine energies here. And I feel like you have bossed up. You have leveled up in your life. Also, you could be somebody who's very artistic and create and creative. Yeah. I feel like there is a liar coming back to you. There is somebody who's a liar that cheated, stole from you, used you, or whatever the case may be. This person is sneaking their way back to you. Now they want to be honest. Now they want to tell you some sort of truth. I also feel like somebody's going to miss the truth with the lie because the seven of swords is behind that. Somebody going to come off like, oh, I'm being honest. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. No, they mixing the truth with the, with the lies here. They're telling you some truth and some um, are fucking lies. They ain't telling every fucking thing. That's what they're not doing. 
Yeah. They could be telling you they, they, they've ended another situation or another situation is over or some shit like that. Somebody may even be, they, somebody may sneak back and they may be being lying about being single here. They haven't completely ended something elsewhere. I feel like somebody just wants to come back to you. I feel like somebody just wants to come back to you and, um, I feel like somebody just wants to come back to you. My mom, my mama told me. My mom keep calling me. I'm gonna call her back in a minute. But um, texting me. Um, I feel like somebody um, you having some type of breakthrough. I feel like you having some type of success. You could be somebody online. You have some type of online success because the world could represent online as well, a world, a worldwide web. You could be online, somebody like with the star here. You've accomplished something, or you got some type of success and recognition. You could be on the worldwide web here. You don't have to be like um, an influencer or anything like that. You could just simply, like I said, if you're not in the public eye in some way or an influence, you could just be simply somebody. You don't have to be somebody like, you could just be somebody who just, you got an Instagram. You just online somehow. You got an Instagram. You got a TikTok, whatever. Somebody know it's over though. Somebody know it's over. Somebody know that you have healed. Period. Yeah. They know it's over. Yo, this is somebody from your past. There's somebody from your past who was nasty, who played mind games. They were nasty. They was hateful towards you. They tried to play you like you some flunky or like you some dummy. They tried to play you like you gullible or something. Somebody got a rude fucking awakening on who the fuck you really are. Yeah, they ain't know who your God hid you in plain sight. See, sometimes God will hide who you really are and he'll hide your worth because he know a person's intentions and he know their heart. He know that they ain't about shit. Oh, forgive me, God, I don't mean the class, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes God will hide who you are from people because he knows that somebody is very deceitful. They're not an honest person. They don't have no type of integrity. They don't have no type of, their, their, mores, and their mores and their values and the way they see life. They need to change their perspective. This is somebody who try to come up in life by fucking over people, using people, abusing people, manipulating, playing mind games with people to get what they want out of people. There's not a bone in their body that has any type of integrity, integrity or, or more as they lack that. You don't do that shit and, and, and never think that you can play somebody and fuck over somebody and go somewhere else and think that the grass is going to be green and greener and think that, oh, I'm going to live happily ever after elsewhere. Don't ever think that shit because karma is around the corner waiting. The same person that you chose that you fuck. See, it ain't what you do. It's about how you do it. You fuck over somebody for somebody else. Best to believe me, that same person that you fucked over them for going to hurt you and fuck you over. Cause that's how, cause that's how, cause the, the, the universe is going to set it up just like that for that same person to fuck you over that you thought was better than that other person. That's why it's about what you do. You can see you put karma on yourself. You can put karma on yourself. Karma can be good or bad. It's all about what you put out. You put out negative shit. You're going to get negative shit. You put out positive shit. You're going to get positive shit back from the universe. You, 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 you be a blessing to others. You're going to be, you're going to get blessed. You're going to be, you somebody going to be a blessing to you. Period. You get what you get. You get what you give. Period. And I feel like somebody tried to um, play you from somebody from their past. This could be Aquarius or a Scorpio or yeah, or Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody thought they could play you in the past and um, manipulate you. Somebody went back to somebody from their past that they got kids with or they've known for a long time or that they that they feel like they got some type of um, history with or something like that. And that person was very jealous and envious. And hateful and nasty and was and, and was really playing a fuck ass. Yeah, justice. Yup, this is your justice. Your justice is to be a star. Your justice is to have success. Your justice is to be well off, to get what you want, to be spoiled, to be spoiled by the universe. Do you get a lot of support for you to get whatever the fuck you want? For you to be your bank account to be on on full on F bitch on full, not on E. This motherfucker here, he on E. He or she on E. They bank account on empty, bitch. On empty while yours on full around this bitch. Yup, justice here. You're going to get whatever you manifest. You're going to get what you want. Because you was somebody's gift. You was a blessing from the most high. 
I feel like you could have been something that God always known that somebody prayed for and somebody wanted or God knew that this that you was what this person needed in, in their life. True love, true support. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, or whatever, you were something that somebody needed, and somebody took a gift from the most high. They took a blessing from the most high and they tried to shit on you. They tried to shit on the Empress with a motherfucker beneath you. Real talk. Because the Empress is above everybody in the fucking day. She is that bitch. Above all. And somebody tried to take a divine being and 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 and, and, and basically tried to play you with somebody lesser than you. To be honest, it's just I, that's just how that's just what it is. And got a rule fucking awakening. And you being called to cut this bitch off. Also, if you're doing any type of manifestation work or anything like that, if you're doing any type of manifestation work, I'm also getting that your manifestations are working here. If you're doing money magic, I feel like it is working here. You're going to get a wish that's being granted. Yeah, this is your karma because of how somebody treated you. Your karma is to get what you want. You're going to get this money. You're going to get this opportunity. You're going to be you're going to be satisfied. Whatever this money or this opportunity is financial, new beginning, new job, business, um, business um, loan or investment or this savings. You're going to have a big savings. You're going to be you're going to be able to have money to spend. And you're going to have money, a uh, plenty of money saved up your bank account. Your savings is going to be lit. Because there is a wish that's coming true. You're going to get confirmation of this reading here. I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you or somebody's going to talk to you and, and tell you they walked away from a situation or they've left a situation alone here. Yeah. They're holding back from something from their past. They walked away from something from their past that kept trying to hold on to them or. Mm, somebody's going to come back to you because you're the blessing. This is what I'm getting. Somebody could be trying to even manifest you a life with you. Something is being balanced out with your work here. I feel like somebody spent a lot of time and energy investing into something that was draining them, that was depleting them, that was not pouring back into them. I always say you cannot pour into an empty cup. It has to be reciprocity there. That's just the universe. That's how the world works. There's it's justice. Things have to be balanced. The skills have to always be balanced, no matter what it is. Whether it's a relationship, a job, I don't care what it is, friendship, I don't care. It has to be a balance. You cannot give more than, than, than you're receiving. It has to be an equal give and take. Somebody kept investing in something that they was not getting that somebody kept pouring into an empty cup. Is what I'm getting. I also feel like somebody is really working on their money. I feel like somebody is broke. They could working on their stability, their financial situation. Somebody could not have nowhere to stay right now at this time. They could be working on their stability here. Their money. Somebody could be broke. Somebody wants to apologize to you. They want to apologize to you. Yeah. I feel like don't do it. I'm telling you, you're you're being protected here. You're being protected from somebody investing. I feel like you you're you're investing into a five of pentacles, something that you're not gonna get nothing back from it, but a headache and a fucking burdens. It's gonna be a burden here. Too much. This person got too many problems. Too many with the, with the, with the will of for you. Yeah, somebody, yeah. I feel like you're moving on. Somebody is destined for some type of hardship. I feel like somebody's karma, somebody's going through karma right now. And I feel like if you fuck with this person, you're gonna get you gonna get their karma too. You're gonna get some, it's gonna, it's gonna it's, it's spirits protecting you from this. This person has some type of karmic debt they have to pay off. They got a lot of problems and responsibilities in their life. They feel burdened, they feel weighed down, they stress the fuck out. They feel like it's a lot on their shoulders. They could they could work on their money, trying to find somewhere to stay, hop around from pillow to post or something like that. You fuck with them, your ass gonna be going through it too. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're free from this. I'm telling you, somebody wants to apologize to you because they're going through karma, will of fortune. They they got stress in their life, struggle and problems and bills. The person got debt and bills out the ass. And I feel like you're being freed from this. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Aquarius here. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to. I feel like, I feel like now somebody want to choose you. They want to choose you. They want to fight for you. They want to bring an offer to you. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot of people that's trying to. I also feel like somebody wants to. I feel like there's also somebody that wants to give you some type of a proposal. I feel like it's a lot of people too that's trying to keep somebody from coming towards you or keep somebody from giving some type of romantic offer to you or somebody proposing to you or something like that too. It's a lot of people. I feel like this person going to stand up to all these people. What I told you, three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's a lot of people that's in secret competition with you. What I told you, it's somebody that want to fuck with you though. But it could be a Pisces cop blocking or this could be an Aquarius cop blocking. Somebody is cop blocking though. Somebody knows something is over. I feel like it's a group of people that's in competition or trying to keep or trying to cop block or keep somebody from fucking with you. I feel like your person, I feel like this person who want to come towards you, they not fucking with these people. They not working with this person or collaborating with these people or fucking with these people or something like that. It's a whole little group here that don't fell out. A little friend group or a little circle here or a group of people that are working, they ass don't fell out here. Yeah, somebody ain't getting no sleep. They ain't getting no fucking sleep. Somebody's drinking a lot. Somebody's an alcoholic. They could be a drug addict. Somebody also, yeah, somebody was getting bad advice. Yeah, somebody in their feelings. Somebody's also in their feelings and they stand up to these people because I feel like also. If this is your person, right, your person li was listening to a group of people that was giving them bad advice. They had a group of friends or a little circle here that was giving your person bad advice about you. Now your, now your person, they in their fucking feelings, they ain't getting no fucking sleep because now you got new love or you're in a new relationship. Or now they all in their feelings about you. Now they want this, now they want, to, they want your forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. They want to start over with you. They want a new beginning with you because they was getting bad advice from these fucking people here. Oh, what else for my, what I told you? Wow, the queen of ones. There you go. Ace of Cups, queen of ones. This is what I'm telling you. Somebody's in love with your ass. They can't even fucking think straight. This motherfucking drinking. They, they drinking like a fish, drinking their life away. They keep drinking that Hennessy, drinking that motherfucking, drinking all that dark liquor and shit. I'm getting somebody really drinking their ass off and doing all type of drugs and shit, popping pills. They ain't getting no sleep. They ain't resting none of that shit. Somebody also could even went to the dark and got some type of bad news. But I told you, somebody see your worth and you fine as fuck. You bad as fuck, Leo. Fine as hell. Finer than a motherfucker. You's a bad man, but your mother. Somebody got regrets. Because somebody got some type of proof. Somebody, somebody see something clearly or they got some type of proof and now they, they in regret. Somebody feel like they lost you, period. Somebody know they was toxic. They know they was toxic or somebody regret listening to these toxic ass people. They could have worked with a group of people helping them doing spell work on you or these people was doing spell work or something like that. Somebody definitely some type of dark magic here. And now somebody sees something clearly or somebody was listening to these friends saying, oh, Leo do do spell work. Oh, Leo do Leo's evil. Leo's a witch. They do that dark shit. Something like that. Yeah. But something's been exposed. Something's been exposed by who the real hoe was. Somebody was saying you're a hoe and all that shit. Somebody could have been doing spell work to make you, to, to try to have you look promiscuous or have you look like you a hoe or something. Something is being exposed here. And I feel like somebody was talking about you like you a hoe. It's really being exposed that they really the hoe for real. They was traveling every year. What I told you, somebody was traveling to see a third party. They was riding, they was getting in the car, seeing other people. They was traveling to see somebody, seeing multiple people, fucking with multiple people here. They were sleeping with multiple parties here. Yeah, they were seeing somebody at a distance, and that was discovered here. Somebody tried, somebody tried to lie on you and shit. And really, it was they hoe ass. That's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fuck with your girl. Bye. I gotta go, y'all.